일단 작년에 비해서 커뮤니케이션 문제는 아무래도 한국인으로 다 바뀌다 보니까 훨씬 괜찮아졌고요 음, 그리고 다들 소통이 잘 되니까 피드백도 훨씬 수월해졌고 게임, 게임 자체 면에서는 네, 좀 조금씩 더 나아지고 있는 것 같아요 일단 저희가 제일 첫 번째로 해야 할 챌린지로 생각하는 거는요 일단 저희가 이제 한국인 풀 로스터인데 아직 뭐 플렉스 딜러가 없어요 그래서 이제 이 플렉스 딜러를 데려오는 걸 급선무로 하고 이제 그 다음에야 이제 다음 거를 생각할 수 있을 것 같아요 Obviously, being the player, that... but now they make him need to hold up with the healing against the renewed London Spitfire to push the point. Another graviton surge though from BQB should help them greatly. And Nuss, he can't do a whole lot except try and go for a biotic grenade, which hit Jester, and he also be cut down in moments. Coalescence now from Hago Pun pushed off the point. What's Fury? And it's a tied up series here after map two. And Florida catches Bergering there. And everybody for London.일단은 런던 스피파이어 경기는 되게 아쉬웠죠. 아쉽고 진짜로 이길 수 있는 경기였는데 한끗 차이? 조금 더 우리가 준비할 시간이 조금 더 있었다면 4일밖에 준비를 못 했거든요. 사실 팀 내부 사정 이런 것도 있었고 조금만 조금만 더 준비할 수 있는 시간이 있었으면 아마 런던이 이겼을지 않을까 하는 아쉬움이랑 그때는 이제 다들 열심히 해서 좀 뿌듯함? 그런 것도 있긴 했었어요. 이번 런던 전에 대해서 얘기를 하자면은 이제 그 경기 날 전까지도 이제 뭐 다른 뭐 사건도 있었고 많은 사건들이 있고 선수들 다 이제 많이 힘들었을 텐데 그래도 그 경기 날에는 다 같이 한 마음으로 의사소통하고 좋은 경기력을 낸것 같기는 해요. 그래도 물론 진건 아쉽지만 그래도 많은 발전을 이뤄냈다고 봅니다. My name is Robert Yip. I'm the performance coach for Florida Mayhem. And previously I worked on League of Legends and I worked for Misfits in LEC as well. 
if I had to pinpoint the problem with teamwork at the moment, I would say it would be just trying to get people on the same page during periods in which the organization is transitioning in terms of a direction. So whether we were going mixed roster or Korean roster, I think now we've cemented where we want to go. And with that, the players can focus on, I guess, the medium to long term future with them in this org. Uh, so currently my role is to help the guys um, physically, mentally, emotionally in the team and Overwatch especially is a really high volume, high burnout kind of a game, um, even by its nature through having the small breaks in between the, the maps and the rounds. It means that the players have to, I guess, sacrifice a lot of their time to getting better at the game and I think it's really important to get outside of the, the practice environment, the facility, to go and do something that's, you know, good for their spirit, good for their soul. Um, I think Everybody does enjoy spending time with each other. Uh, just a case of trying to find something that players like that they usually it defaults to eating or doing like shopping or something. But you know, bringing them out to the pier, to Griffith Observatory, to a park, um, showing them something that's in LA that they wouldn't necessarily get to see on a on a daily basis because mostly they're indoors. I think is really good because I don't want them to go back home in between the 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 splits and then. You know, maybe even finish with Florida Mayhem and go back home and go. And someone asks, how was, Flor how was uh, Florida or how was LA? And they say, I don't really know. I didn't really go out too much. Uh, I don't really have much to show for it. I want to give them experiences and memories, not just sitting behind their computer. And I think that's something that every team should, you know, try to do to help their players to it's experience life because they're sacrificing their most important years when they should be maybe in college or working or whatever, playing the video game. I know professionally and they get paid well for it, but they are sacrificing something. Um, 아무래도 저희도 쟁탈에서 이제 33보다는 3D를 많이 쓰는 팀이고 글래디에이터도 그런 모습이 많이 보여서 아마 3D 싸움도 많이 일어날 것 같고 아무래도 삼탱 위주의 게임보다는 아마 글래디 상대로는 서로 다양한 조합을 서로 사용할 것 같아요. Good start for Florida. There goes Decay. BQB's got another one, and Florida may have on the gladiators, but they do have the healing there to keep everybody alive. Zephyr on top, though. Oh, that was nearly a big self-destruct. Turns out the damage came from Swan instead. Wow. It will. Wow. This is what happens. You really need the fans behind him now. Gladiators. Oh, River to knock him into this time. <laughs> no, the Sen is not there to be his doom. That's right. Oh, Immortality Field, here comes the tire. Oh, taken out by Zephyr right away. They were ready for that tire. Good response there, but they lose Saiya player in the process. Just going for the swing and having another big EMP comes in. And now, sure for it's tank time. Gets two already. Make it three. Guess what? Transcendence can't keep you alive. Oh, no. That was brutal. And the Immortality Field, so nobody dies. That's it. Overtime ticking away. And what a hold for the LA Gladiators. Sick point to a cop. Oh, that immortality field. And because Big Goose already has that Amp Matrix online, uh -oh. Batiste's ultimate, they're going to use it right now and pull everybody in with a biotic I mean, grenade. That immortality field placement oh. from Big Goose was perfect. Around the corner, Florida couldn't get to him and let the Gladiators basically do whatever they want. Every time that you get, get some like minor victory, then you're just going to reduce it even further. You Whoa. know exactly how far they have to go. That is a lot of damage on the Roar. I mean, this is the best case scenario for Florida. They've only used their rally so far, and they've already been winning the fight. It really does not get any better than this for the Mayhem. Uh, this is exactly where you want to be at the Florida Mayhem. Get in now, Sound Barrier. That's a big shadow for Roar. Huge. Gets so much damage in there, too. And that is it. I don't think anybody's getting back to the payload in time for Florida at this point. Doofus is coming out, but no one's going to get there in time. Nah, when you win a fight with 10 seconds left, that is it, right? Nice shatter comes in from Florida, though. Swan does land that one. They get the K with the self-destruct. So Florida not out of it just yet, but 
how do you survive against everything Gladiators has right now? Long respawn for defense. There's oh, there you go. Splitting things up. They do get Shaz early on. There's the Ant Matrix down on the Florida side as well. Roar taken out. And that is what the Mayhem were looking for. There you go. Three. And that's their big ultimate. They got to keep Swan alive. They knocked out BQB. That's going to be the end of the series. Gladiators hold. And that's a 3-1 victory for Los Angeles. Nicely done by the Gladiators. Performing at a level that we expect of them. Little bit of a surprise to see them drop that first map. But Florida also probably played the best Overwatch we've seen from them this season. I feel today, I feel after this game, it was a little bit close. And if we have, if we have a more like, if we if we can make a more hard, then we we can be more closer game. But it was really close, I think. When 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 I go to dugout in half time, I feel like different different. Like when we losing two two zero, then I feel oh oh, and then it's like one and one. Wow, we can win, and we never go to two and zero. So I don't. Know. I want to talk to fans. Is it, it, it okay? Okay. Uh, after this game, it was I think it was a little bit a little bit close game. Mm, and thank you for I cheer up the mayhem, even if we you know, we are very bad, and we will be getting better, better and better. I hope. So thank you for cheer up mayhem. Thank you, Swan. Thank you. That was everything. Manuel, thank you. <laughs>